What's up guys, extremely biased person here. Today we're gonna to be ranking all of the all the characters of Stardew Valley on this this tier list I stole off tierlistmaker.com. But unfortunately this isn't the correct ranking system, so I gotta clean this up. Backgrounds are a little bit scuffed, but we can work with it. So first off the bat we have Haley. So I don't I don't really dislike this character. I mainly just make fun of her because she's kind of like the classic amalgamation of like a gamer girl, if you know what I mean. And she also eats rocks, which is very strange. I don't think I've ever met someone who eats rocks uh, in real life, thankfully, because um, that's weird. So I don't have any issues with her. I think I think I'm gonna place her firmly in the B tier. She's a nice guy. Doesn't really have too many issues besides like issues with her family, I guess, which aren't really her fault. She's just trying to live her life. And Pierre's being kind of a scumbag. Next off, we have Alex. He's kind of like the basic jock, except he's had a pretty tragic backstory. I've watched the Yama Lee video. You should too. Pretty solid video. He he's he seems like a nice guy. I th I think he's a tiny bit sexist at first, but. Once he gets said no, you better, he realizes the error of his ways, which, you know, character growth, I'm a big fan of character growth, except when it's Haley, she cannot grow or change in any way that convinced me, she's not awful. So I think, I think, I think I'm actually going to put him in the A tier, because I really don't have any issues with him at all. Next off, we have Birdie, the lady who gives you the quest where you have to run around the map, basically just a fetch quest. Um, I don't mind fetch quests, they, they're kind of nice, I guess, sometimes. And it, it's interesting that you kind of have to use the items you're given and figure out who it is. Like you get the tomato salt and you're like, hmm, who's a chef in town? Oh, Gus, beautiful. So I don't I don't really have an issue with her quest. Kind of sad that uh, she lost her husband. There's some cool cut content behind it, though. I'll probably make a video on that at some point in my life. So I want to place her formula in the A tier once again. All right, the bouncer. I, I really dislike this guy. Like he's, he's, he's the amalgamation of like an internet gatekeeper. He just keeps everyone not cool enough by his own like biased standards out of the club. We're going to drop him in the D tier. Not really much else to say about him. Next off, we have Caroline. So uh, I believe this is one of the housewives or wives of uh, husbands in the town. That's kind of like, I can't remember if she's trying to bail or Jody is. I think Jody's trying to bail, but I'm just really not a big fan of her. Just simply because, or you know what? No, I changed my mind. She's not that bad. She likes green tea. You know, green tea is pretty good. I've had it a few times. I kind of just feel bad for her. I don't really want to give her like a D tier because she's married to Pierre and that's that's got to be tough. That's got to be tough. So we're going to place her firmly in the C tier. Uh, next up, we have Clint. So some people really, 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 really dislike Clint because I, I think I understand why people do, but uh, I don't know. Maybe it's just my perspective because I'm like a man, but like he does do some super weird stuff. I'll admit like the weird bush scene that, that was extremely <laughs> strange with Emma. But I think he's just kind of a shy guy that um kind of doesn't doesn't really understand um understand like social stuff as, as much which is you know I, I I'm sure I feel like some of you guys in the audience might be able to relate no offense um so I, I don't really think he's that bad um like I don't know he's kind of like an incel I guess uh, I'm gonna put him B tier I guess okay Demetrius um I don't really have an issue with Demetrius he seems like a nice guy uh, I think he's a little bit restrictive on Maru sometimes but you know fathers try to or well parents in general try to protect their beloved children so I don't really blame him kind of understand where he's coming from so I I think I think he's gonna be a B tier no issues with him at all the dwarf no issues with this guy at all um I'm a really big fan of him actually because he sells me bombs and uh, I don't use bombs as much as I use slingshot ammo just because I have to wait for it to blow up and that that's a little Little bit annoying but it is really nice because i can just buy any bombs i want and if i do end up using bombs i don't have to go grind for them myself and you know they're reasonable prices this dude's probably a millionaire on most of my saves the amount of money i've spent on goddamn bombs 999 mega bombs was not cheap but it was worth it you know and i don't really blame it it's like better than giving money to like i don't know pierre or whatever so he's gonna go in an a tier no issues with him at all Okay, so I don't dislike Elliot. Okay, no, I do dislike Elliot, but I don't dislike him as much as other people. Like, uh, what's, um, Therm. He really dislikes Elliot. And I think he's just kind of, kind of, kind of better than thou, like, pompous kind of vibes. Um, so I don't, I don't dis- ah. I want to say I don't dislike him, but I kind of do. I kind of dislike Eh, He's not that bad. He's going to go in C tier, I think. Uh, next up, we have Emily, the, the rock lady. Um, she's she's kind of like, I don't know why her and Abigail aren't like really good friends, because Emily could provide the rocks to Abigail to consume. So it's like a perfect friendship. Um, though maybe Emily would be sad seeing Abigail consume all those rocks. Maybe she's a she's emotionally attached to her rocks, which hey, fair enough, you know. Um, she's a little bit kooky though. Kind of gives me like MLM vibes. If 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 you're following, like I feel like she would attempt to scam you with essential oils, almost certainly. Like there's no chance she wouldn't at least try. Uh, and then you know, 
we'd call her out and she'd say, oh my gosh, I'm sorry, I didn't realize. Um, wow, I've convinced myself to kind of disliking her with that, like, made-up scenario. Damn. Um, I'm too convincing, man. What can I say? Uh, B tier or C tier. Yeah. Evelyn. Evelyn. Um, you know, I don't have issues with her. She seems like a nice grandma. She has some interesting lore. Uh, she's on the bed mantle of like grandpa when he's dying. So might have been in a relationship with him. Who knows? Interesting lore for sure, though. Uh, she seems like a nice grandma. You know, she makes you cookies. I like cookies. Um, I don't know what my favorite cookies is. I might be basic and just go with like chocolate chip. Chocolate chip's really good. You know, I can't complain really. Um, so we're gonna put her in A tier. No issues with it at all. Next off, we have George. Um, so George is a little bit rude. And there's been some controversy around the scene where I believe it was, I think it was Penny who tried to help him. And he really did not like that. And I think I would actually side with George on this one because he wants, he wants to be independent. Like he was independent before the accident and he would like to continue to being independent. And she's kind of like intruding on his his independency, if you know what I mean. So it's kind of lame that she tried to do that. Uh, he does have, I think he's like homophobic or something once or twice, which um, obviously not cool. Don't do that, guys. Hot take, I know. So I, I think that's, I think that this gonna place him firmly in the B tier. Like he's not the nicest guy in the world. I understand why though. Like if I lost my legs in a mining accident, I wouldn't be too chipper most of the time probably. Um, so we got Gil over here. I believe that's, that's his name. Um, so he, he is the guy who gives you the rewards in the Adventurers Guild. So I'm a huge fan of him. Uh, it's kind of questionable why he just has all these valuable things waiting around. Maybe he just collected them in his adventures and is actually like just a good guy with like no really, because he has no motivation to be giving this out. Why doesn't he just keep it for himself? It must be pretty valuable if it's like the only place you can get it. Then again, you can also buy infinite ones, but you could also argue that's just a game mechanic so the game functions, um, which would be a valid argument, but kind of like metagamey. So I like him. He's a nice guy. Uh, we're gonna put him B tier. Actually, A tier, yeah. Goblin. Um, uh, I don't know. He's like, fine. I'm just got a new tier called I don't care to be honest, because I don't care to be honest. Um, Governor. Okay, this dude, I feel like this dude is colluding with Lewis to skim money or tax money off of the players, because there is absolutely no chance the Pelican Town is this, like, run down after I've made millions, hundreds of millions of dollars. It's just absolutely absurd. I, I just don't think there's any way Lewis could get away with it if the governor wasn't in on it. So I think he's probably evil too. We're gonna drop him firmly in D tier. Uh, next off, we have Grandpa. So Grandpa led a pretty tragic life. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. He, he he had a sad life. Like his wife probably died. <laughs> his kids were all in the city. He was all alone on the farm. Well, he had to watch it go into ruins. But then again, dude, you left me a farm in ruins. Like that's kind of kind of rude. Kind of rude to be honest. So we're gonna drop him in C tier. Uh, he's fine. I don't really like him. Gunther. This dude is the biggest leech on planet earth and let me tell you why so he 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 he's he, he, he i'm genuinely stuttering because i'm so mad he takes all your artifacts and collects them in his museum I'm sure you donated him but whatever obviously you were gonna donate him you're a nice guy he takes advantage of it and claims that he was the one who collected them all which is a flat out lie i don't know why he would say this so he's he's a leech a weasley little liar and he needs to get a grip next up we have gus um i have zero issues with gus gus is a nice guy gus is a really nice guy um he he he's reasonable he gives line of food. He gives everyone in the town food at reasonable prices. He employs Emily so she is working can make money and she, he probably runs the only profitable business in the town that would survive if the player left. So we're dropping him in S tier. Oh boy. Guys. Guys. Haley. Okay. So I, I have, I have some I have some strong opinions about her, as you know. So she's just really rude to the player and kind of gives you a lot of backhanded compliments. Like you would look cute without these ugly clothes. And it's like, buddy, I don't care what you think at all. I'm sorry, like you're just very rude. And the only reason that she starts to like you is because you start giving her gifts, you know? And she's also just so vain. Like, you know, the prismatic shard, the a pretty rare item in the game, right? Everyone in the town likes it, except for one person. Can you guess who that is? It is Haley, yes. Um, Correct. Good job if you guessed. Um, and I think this is because it's the it's, it's it's something that's more pretty than her. So so she doesn't like it because she's vain and wants to be the best. So it's just incredibly stupid. It makes me angry how annoying this lady is. She's dropping straight into Haley tier, which um, if you know my channel is a severe insult. Um, but anyways, moving on. I'm getting a little bit heated. Sorry guys. I'm gonna take it down enough. It's only starting about. Just kidding. Get heated over NPCs. Otherwise you're a fake fan. I'm gonna take a swig of water. 
atop the Waligug water. I'm kidding, that doesn't exist. I should make that, honestly. With that being said, if you want to ruin my life, hit subscribe. When we hit 100,000 subscribers, I'm going to be changing my profile picture to one of the images in this Discord channel. You can join my Discord, the link's down below. So if you want to submit something, I might use this as my profile picture for an entire month. No pressure though, if you want to watch the rest of the video and check out some of my other stuff first before subscribing, feel free. Anyways, Harvey. Uh, no issues with this guy. He's a, he's a nice dude. He provides you uh, with care for the town. Uh, my one issue with him is that he uh, looks like Shawnee Dew. That's my main issue with him. I'd be fine with him otherwise. Um, and also, he if, if you're married to him um, and you still, and if you like die in the mines or pass out or whatever, he still charges you money <laughs> to heal him. And you're like married to him. And it's like, buddy, I made millions of dollars. And you're married to me and you're still going to steal the thousand bucks. Like, holy. Uh, so that's going to lower him from an A to a B for me, at least personally. A little bit petty, but come on. Like, if you're gonna be petty and charge me money, I'm gonna be petty, okay? Uh, Jazz. Zero issues with her. Like, she's just like, I don't care, honestly. She's fine. Jody. Jody is the one who was attempting to abandon her family. I get it, man. Times, times get tough sometimes, but you just gotta stick with what truly matters, and in the end, that's family. Uh, more than anything, basically anything, I would argue. Uh, so a little existen existential there. I'm gonna drop her in the C tier. I understand she she needs to like put. You should also put yourself first before family sometimes. But that's tough, and you do sometimes need to make sacrifices. And she has made sacrifices. And I think you know she's just gotta wait for for her kids to grow up and she can have a nice life again. And uh, speaking of Jody, we have Kent. Kent seems like a nice guy, um, obviously a little bit morally questionable, he abandoned his family, but it's also terrible that he suffers from PTSD, so I can't really go too hard on him, I, I would feel bad. So, um, we're just gonna drop in the C tier along with Jody, kinda stay consistent. And Krobus, I, I, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I really don't know why everyone loves this dude. Like, he's, he's fine, I guess. I don't really think he's anything amazing. Like, he's, he's fine. He's pretty good. I don't think he's the best spouse or anything like that. I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna drop him firmly in like a B tier. He's a nice guy. He sells you the return scepter, which is really nice. I love the return scepter. But, you know, he's nothing crazy, I guess. I don't know. I guess he is the only asexual option, which, oh, time to think of that is almost definitely why. Uh, definitely why it is. Because Stardew's got a pretty, pretty woke audience. That actually makes a lot of sense. Kind of just countered my own point. Uh, moving swiftly onwards. Leah. So Leah's my go-to spouse on all of my saves because I don't know I I married her the first save and I've just married her since then partly for tradition partly because I don't know I'd like her she's in a cool cabin in the woods that's kind of that's kind of that's kind of based it's kind of based you got me firmly in S tier uh, next off we have Leo poor guy he's like a bird um I think he has severe issues which you know I would too if I was stranded on an island for years with only birds, but, um, you know, I can't really, I can't really feel, or, no, I can feel too bad for him. I was gonna say, like, I don't feel bad, but I do feel bad, honestly. So I'm just gonna drop him to B tier. He's nothing crazy, but I feel bad for his tragic life. Uh, Lewis. So, I'm a pretty big Lewis hater. He's kind of just like a leech. Like, he probably steals money from the player. He doesn't want to reveal his relationship with Marnie because he's a coward. Um, I guess, like, you could argue privacy, but, like, dude, no one in the town is going to care. Like, it's fine. You're both adults. There's no issues here. Just tell the town. So I'm dropping him in Haley tier, honestly. I like, I dislike him that much. A uh, Linus. Linus is God on Earth, so I'm gonna be respectful to him. Uh, in-game. Of course, not, not in real life, alright? as I know, but just a really nice dude. Like he lives down in the nature, you know, he seems like a chill guy. Uh, he's had a bad past, of course, but I think that he, um, he deserves a second, a second chance. Like he's had a bad life and now he's redeeming his life now. Just wants to be left alone, kind of chill, maybe get some free meals from Gus. So uh, I'm going to drop him right next to Gus so they can, they can hang out a little bit. Uh, next off we have Marlin. So I, uh, I personally think that, uh, Marlin should be together with Marnie instead of Lewis. They, they seem perfect for each other. They're at, they're at the, the festivals together and, and, and he mentions her. So I think they'd be way better match because he's not like a coward like Lewis. I have, I have no issues with this guy. He seems, seems nice. He's gonna drop him in B tier. Marnie herself. So it's kind of a love-hate relationship because I feel bad for her that she's trapped in this relationship with Lewis, but also she's never at her store, so I can't buy hay, which is mildly inconvenient. And uh, in case you guys didn't know, I really dislike mild inconveniences. Dropping her in nah, D tier. Yeah, pretty low, I know, but like, eh, whatever. Maru. Honestly, no one seems to like care about Maru. She's really forgotten. I think she's kind of an under underrated spouse. Yeah, no, she's definitely underrated. Yeah, she's nice. She's, she's like sciencey. That's kind of cool. Uh, I'm gonna drop her firmly in B tier. I have no issues with her. No drama, really. Um, and then we have, uh, this fella, the Jojimark guy. 
I'm calling him the Joe Jamark guy from now because I genuinely cannot remember his name. So Joe Jamark guy, people really hate him for some reason, but I think he's fine. He's just a businessman trying to business. I'd go as far to say that he is A tier. That's right, I'm saying it. Leave a comment down below if you disagree and also smash the like button. And next up we have Pam. Okay, so I've made fun of Pam in the past, but I, I really don't have that many issues with her. I think she's done some morally, morally questionable things, but that's mainly because of her alcohol issues. So I think you can kind of forgive a little bit. You don't want to obviously 100% forgive, but I don't think she's like a D tier or a Haley tier. I think she's a firm C. She has issues. She's trying to work through them. I hope she's trying to do better for, Pen uh, for Penny because that's... Uh, what her focus should be on in my opinion uh, and speaking of penny so penny's fine she's nice i'm honestly just gonna drop her straight in a tier she's kind of just there like she doesn't have a ton of personality i guess she's nice though i have zero issues with her and pierre so speaking of issues i really i really really dislike pierre because he's just a leech dude like he just completely and utterly leeches from everyone around him he attempts to resell your crops for 10x value neglects his wife he's just a bad person going straight in Haley tier uh mr key um no issues with this dude he's probably like god or something i don't know i'm just gonna put him in b tier so he doesn't like murder me uh next up we have robin uh robin's nice you know no issues with her she builds your stuff like she builds my coop my barns she makes me a lot of money via the barns and coops so you know i, I can't really dislike her she's she seems like a nice a nice lady You're gonna drop her drop her firmly in the c tier um and sam sam the musician dude so i think he's kind of just another character that's just kind of there for me i never really have any strong opinions about him most people either don't care about him or they simply for him super hard. I actually saw Sam Simp in the Stardew Valley Discord the other day, which was kind of surprising because I've never seen one before. Like, you know, you have the Shane and the Haley Simps, disgustingly enough. Uh, but never really saw a Sam one, so we're just gonna put him in B tier. Like, he's fine, I guess. And Sandy. Um, eh, Sandy's fine. I feel bad for her because she probably has, like, some sort of magic spell cast on her that's preventing her from leaving the desert. Because I don't really see a lot of motivations to maintain that shop because all of her friends are in Pelican Town. Well, her friends Emily's in Pelican Town, so she kind of doesn't really have a lot of, she doesn't gain a lot from staying there. I don't know why she really does. A little bit questionable, I don't know. I mentioned it in a few other videos if you're interested to check it out. Eh, another, another B character for me. She's fine, no issues with her. Sebastian, the emo of the town. Eh, he's, he's like, once again, he's, I, I like him, honestly. He's like, he does plays Dungeons and Dragons, that's kind of cool. I played that before the Padamic, Padamic. The, um, the you know what, I actually don't know. Like, YouTube's just gonna slap some restriction on my video for speaking about it. For the you know what happened um so he seems like a cool guy he's like on his computer all day like me working on the daily uploads you know the grind never stops um so honestly a tier no issues with him at all seems like a nice kid although he does have that bad habit of smoking uh, which hopefully he's working on to kick that'd be good for his health uh speaking of kicking a habit uh shane 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 so i i don't like him he's just kind of rude but like i understand why he's rude and i kind of i, I understand why he's rude and his motivations but i just still kind of don't like him i'm just gonna put him in c tier and not get into it a lot uh professor snail this dude uh he's a chad he survived completely off mushrooms in a cave alone for potentially years before the player discovered ginger island so um insanely impressive good for him uh nice guy uh stupid snake for your go find your own snake for it right i don't want to spend the next four years looking for one or if you're on like switch version the bat um yeah uh nice dude gets a little bit too demanding sometimes for a goods so we're gonna drop him firmly into the c tier uh, Vincent, I don't really care about him. Willie, super nice dude. Willie is just a chill guy, you know? He seems like the type of guy you just genuinely hang out with. He seems like a chill guy, you know, go fishing with him, etc. So we're gonna go ahead and drop him in the S tier. He just seems like a nice dude. A uh, wizard, I actually don't like the wizard at all. Uh, purely because he admits to spying on the player or just the town in general a lot. Um, but I kind of do like him because he has he's the source of the largest Stardew Valley fan theory, which is obviously that uh, uh, Abigail is his daughter and um, Caroline cheated on Pierre with him, which, you know, I'm always down to see Pierre get screwed or not screwed, I guess. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna drop him firmly uh, D tier. I don't like him at all. If you want to see me rank the farms of Stardew Valley, click on the video on screen right now or else.